Seterusnya, pindaan Ordinan Bangunan Sarawak atau SBO bakal dibentang di persidangan DUN Sarawak pada Oktober tahun ini. Timbalan Premier Sarawak, Datuk Seri Dr. Sim Kui Hian berkata, cadangan pindaan ini adalah untuk memastikan undang-undang bangunan bersesuaian dengan keadaan semasa. All these uh, uh, bomba the community, uh, the professional uh, putting in so much effort, right? And, and to refine it, to bring Sarawak out to the, uh, what we expected as a progressive uh, Sarawak. They, they are trying their best, uh, yeah, because they got so many issues. Uh, and our SAG had to address our health autonomy, our our uh, education autonomy, because uh, and, and all this because. All these autonomy are based on law. They are based on our Malaysia agreement. Yeah, you know, based on Malaysia agreement. And so it's not because we have no law and we just demand this. We demand that no. Pada masa sama, Dr. Sim yang juga Menteri Kesihatan Awam, Perumahan dan Kerajaan Tempatan Sarawak berkata, beliau akan berbincang dengan Kementerian Pembangunan dan Kerajaan Tempatan KPKT dalam usaha menyediakan kategori baru bagi projek perumahan. In terms of your sound is so wide, right? So uh, the, it based on West Malaysia's uh, fire risk, right? We will have very, very few Balai Bomba, you know? But, but same as it's similar like, to hospital that I keep talking about, so hospital, the uh, specialists and so on. If for Sarawak, we cannot be based on sheer population. We must take geographical uh, into consideration. So we had, we have proposed setting up new categories. Uh, uh, Sarawak government proposed to Malaysia uh, 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 to the minister of KPKT that for Sarawak it need a new categories and based on that category, then it will address our fire risk in Sarawak. Beliau berkata demikian dalam sidang media sempena pelancaran kempen keselamatan kebakaran sempena sambutan Hari Gawai Dayak tahun 2023 dan pre-launching Malaysia Day Community Fund Run 2023 di Fale Mall pada Isnin.